empty here. Just want to show you what the box looks like. It comes in. It's usually tall, little skinny box. And no soil on it, so you might have to take this in back and for a little bit of room. I need to get them out of the sunlight. open okay I got the box open here and as you can see they're all bundled together real nice and neat and they got this plastic around it and they got some uh, stuff in there that keeps uh, moisture around these roots while they're shipping so they don't dry out you can see here I got a Pawnee Macan, Maha Macan, uh, non pyreal Macan, and an NE plus almond and uh, Osage Pecan, oh no that's Osage Pecan I gotta figure out which ones are my oh any plus that's almond and this one's almond I believe. That's pecan, pecan, and this one should be pecan. So I got Pawnee, Mahan, and Osage pecans. And then almonds, any plus, and um paril. If you can see those. Anyway, let me get this opened up and you can see that gel that's on these. Okay, got all that packing tape off of it and just got the plastic on here now. I'm open that up so let's see what that looks like and how much moisture they keep in that with the transportation. So you can see there, that gel that's on there, that's what keeps the moisture in when it's shipping. So kind of neat. I got all the roots in there. Now you probably should wash all that off. My water's kind of chlorinated, so I'll probably just shake most of it off. And the soil's pretty moist, so, and I'll probably clean some of that off uh, with some water in a bucket that I put there. But, uh, like I say, it's chlorinated water. I don't know how well these do, but you can see the graphs on there where they got that tape on. Well, that's kind of neat. That's on the pecan, and I don't know if these are graphs. I don't see a little joint there where that might be a graft on the almond, so. And give that one to you. Anyway. We get these uh, out, cleaned up a little bit, and put them in the ground. I'll probably get these in the shade because the roots are kind of tender there, like I say, to the sun, or keep them in this plastic till I actually get them in the ground. So, all right, then I'll be back here as soon as we get these in. All right, got those in a bucket. I got my first one here planted. I dug that hole deeper than what the tree was, and that's mainly to get the soil loose underneath them. And so, I had to fill in a lot of that before I actually start. Putting the before I put the tree in. Now what I want to do is have the dirt line right about here where those roots start, and so I'll probably raise that up a little bit. But I'll show you a trick here in just a little bit. Let me put some more dirt in there. Okay, what I'm going to do? I got dirt around that now. And what I'm going to do is just kind of shake that a little bit, make sure that dirt fills in around the roots down there. There's no pockets, so that's what that's for. Do that. Uh, that kind of raised it up just a little bit. You don't want to break off any roots, so you want to be careful of that. And then I'm going to go ahead and finish filling in around that. And I'm going to leave my dirt kind of loose, they say, to do that. Uh, there's kind of two thoughts on that leave it loose or compact it down. And I'm going to try, I've always kind of stomped it down real compact. And so what I'm going to do is just kind of leave it loose and let it, uh, let the roots spread out into that and let it compact on its own. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'll get the rest of these other four in the ground too, and we'll go from there. All right, the last thing I got to do, I got all these in the ground, is to give them a drink of water here. The ground is pretty moist, but still want to give them some water there to make sure those roots get a good start. So uh, this one's the NE Plus, and it's the second one away from the fence here, down from the black walnut over there. So as they come down, this one out here, any plus almond and I'm doing this again for me to record later on a diagram and this is a no something almond what was it here let's take a look at that tag a non rail or something like that and that's an almond I got three pecans going out through here and this one's a Osark pecan next to the fence Sage, I guess it is. Sage. Pecan. The second one coming out is a Mahan, I believe. Yep, 
Mahan pecan. That's supposed to be a real large tree and large pecans on it. Hopefully I don't have these too close together for those. The last one here would be the Pawnee pecan. Yep, the Pawnee pecan. And like I say, last thing to do here, I'll probably give each of these at least uh, two and a half, a half of pale, maybe a pale. Depends on how many trips I want to make with the water here. So just putting that on a little bit to a time, letting it soak in so it doesn't run off. And this soil being rocky like it is, that's one good thing is water does drain if it ain't in the low spots. So. And I do have extra soil if that compacts down to where it's getting a little bit low, I'll fill up around it. I got three bags of topsoil. Now one thing on these bare root, you don't want to put any fertilizer for the first year. I know with the potted ones, uh, you know, they're made uh, the, the way they're they're done with the, they get the roots in the soil and everything. You can fertilize those. I usually put some root starter in the hole with those and and those work real well. But anyway, this seems to work and I'm gonna go around and water each of these and I should be good. Anyway, Tiny T signing out. Y'all have a good day.